freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How are you? Um, this video is slightly different in the sense that uh, recently I've been doing uh, like single day vlogs and um, put it into one video. But I think this might be just one video, but actually over three days technically. Right now is Wednesday and it's just gone half past four. Uh, we just arrived here in Wigan. Unfortunately, bang on half past four and uh, they won't tip me. <laughs> um, we've only got one, two, three pallets this side, and well, basically three pallets the other side as well. We've got six pallets. The rest of it, that one onwards, it's all going to Scotland. It's going to, oh, where is it going? I can't remember where it's going now. Stirling, that's it, it's going to Stirling. So we've got almost a full load of, of tiles to go to Stirling, and then literally just, the back lot here, little, little tiny bit, just for Wigan. But unfortunately, we got to Wigan too late. They won't tip us, so um, we've got to wait until the morning. So we're going to start the video today on a Wednesday, uh, and then tomorrow we're going to head to Scotland, and then Friday we'll be heading back down to England again, and that is what the vlog's going to be. A trip to Scotland and back. Anyway, that's enough for today. <laughs> One minute, 25 seconds into the video, and that's enough for today. I will see you tomorrow probably daylight maybe not sure and uh yeah we get these off and then we'll crack on up to uh up to sterling see you tomorrow okay you join me the next day we've just got unloaded we just got to strap up the uh the final pallet now that got left over let me show you so all of them are staying on uh but this one i had to unstrap because there was another pallet the other side so yeah we just got to strap this one back up and then we can crack on uh, gotta put the gloves on first. We've um It's eight oh six. They said they would start unloading us at bar seven. It took a while to get let in to be fair. I was hoping to be gone by now. Because it's uh Well it's a good four hours and twenty minute drive to uh to the next one, so we've got to get a move on. Because there is a chance that actually there is a chance we might not get loaded in Dundee later on today. I mean, that is the absolute key. If we don't get loaded in Dundee tonight, then we'll be staying in Dundee tonight. And that's a long journey then tomorrow to get home for a Friday. In fact, we might even run out of time, which I don't want. So yeah, we've got to get a move on. Let's do this one up. Not the nicest weather today. It's quite wet and windy. Can't imagine Scotland is going to be any better. In fact, one would imagine it's worse up there. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Let's see you up. Yeah, so the plan is uh, go up to Stirling and get this dropped off. I'm, I'm hoping we'll be there. It's a good four, good four and a half hour drive. Plus we need to stop for some fuel as well, probably on the way up as well. So. I reckon we'll probably be there for one o'clock. So let's say half past one. Yeah. Yeah, so four hours and 20 minutes. That's the route we've got to take. Like I said, then I've then Dundee somewhere over here. So we ideally need to get loaded in Dundee and actually start making our way back down uh, to even stand a chance of getting off tomorrow. Right, you join me two and a half hours later and uh, we are literally just about to enter Scotland. As you can see, right in front of us is the Scotland sign. Welcome to Scotland. We're in England. We're in England. We're in England. 
we're still in England. And now we're in Scotland. So yes, we're now in Scotland. <laughs> um, right, we are actually pushed against it for time today. We've got to get this off. Uh, we need to go fill out a fuel first. I do have half a tank of fuel. However, I don't want to find myself in Dundee with hardly any fuel. So I might as well just stop now, top up. I know then I've got a full tank of fuel, I can get to Dundee, get back again. Uh, the aim is to get back into England today. That is the aim. Um, we're, on, we're on two and a half hours drive now, and we're about, we're literally two hours away from where we're going to be. We're going to be rocking up on, on four and a half hour drive. So um, we will be requiring a break whilst we're there. Um, so we get offloaded and have a break, or we have a break before we get offloaded, either way, stop outside, whatever. I don't know, but we are going to need a break when we are there. And then I think, I don't actually know where in Dundee I'm picking up, but assuming it's somewhere near the harbour, which actually is where the golf course was, where I'd done a delivery last year or the year before. It's about an hour and a half, I reckon, to get there. So we're looking at six hours driving time when we're in Dundee, which leaves us four hours left. We're gonna have, give or take, four hours driving time to get as far south as we can, because from Dundee, I think tomorrow, I need 13 hours drive time. 13. That's to go all the way down to Raynham, which is near Dartford. <laughs> We've got to go literally from, from Dundee, Scotland, all the way down to Dartford, pretty much, do a delivery, and then around the M25 to the M4 back to our yard. That is, in my estimate, according to Google, it's 10 hours. I always add extra 15 minutes for every one hour, and then I just round it up. So I'm thinking 12 and a half hours, so I'm gonna round it up to 13 hours. I think I need 13 hours from Dundee. So if I got four hours left today, then it should take it down to nine hours, should, in theory. And then it gives me an extra hour spare for tomorrow. I do have two 10 hour drives available. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I got four hours from um, in Dundee today on a six, because I'm gonna use a 10 hour drive today. I'm gonna use a 10 hour drive, I suspect, tomorrow as well. It's a big old busy couple of days. Um, what would have helped is if I got loaded, oh, so I got tipped yesterday. Because had I got tipped yesterday, where am I going? I've never been here before. Fuel right. Had I have got tipped yesterday, then I would have been able to make my way up a couple of hours at least. And then that would have um, helped us out a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. We do have trucks as well, You're getting fuel. We want to go right here. Key fuels, fantastico, that's what we want to use. How do we get in? I think we go in there. Go to the left. No, it's not. Well, that's an awkward one to see from. Don't know why services do this. They've got a road that you've got to turn right and then you can't see. Right, we go right in here. It's only a small one, but let's top up with fuel now while we can. I think, I think that's what we want to do. I think that is what we want to do. Ugh. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? I'm pretty sure I saw someone on every single one. Oh no, he's just leaving. Can we get round this bend? That is the question. It's a bit tight. With that truck trailer here, we should be just about right. Just got to tuck in here. Lovely. Here's a bit bit snug, this one. Anyway, right, let's top it a fuel. Right, that's all paid for. Got the receipt. Let's crack on now to Scotland. Well, actually, no, we're in Scotland already, aren't we? <laughs> let's crack on to, uh, to Stirling. Ugh. Crack on to Stirling. Get this off, and then we can go to, uh, to Dundee. See you in a bit. Right, we are a couple of miles away from our first delivery. Howie, it's near Fir Folk is it Firkirk? Firkirk? Firkirk. Anyway, yeah, it's just past Stirling. Let's uh, go right at this roundabout. Just let this lorry out.
I hear what you're saying. I probably could have done with stopping a bit earlier, but I couldn't because the car was indicating to go my left, but his right, and my, my back end was still on the road, so well, in his way. So I had to go forward enough so that um, he can get around me. Yeah, this is BMI here, so where's the entrance? Let's read these signs quickly. Stop check, hard hat, high vis, doesn't say anything about shorts. The man's wearing trousers, but it doesn't say you must wear trousers. This is what I look for from most, uh, most places. Over seven tons. Well, we are over seven tons. <laughs> I think we're allowed down here because that wasn't for BMI Redlands. I believe BMI Redlands entrance is here on the right. Redlands, is, is this a good scene entrance? Well, it is now. It is now. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? There's a sign here. Uh, one way system, we go right. That bloke just told me. Yeah, I just read the runway system sign. It said go right. Ah, oh, there's a sign there, so stop here. Most, most one-way systems go clockwise, this way is going anti-clockwise. There we go, stop here. Miss. Report to collections office where we're delivering, but never mind. Where is, where is the collections office? I don't know, that's the next thing. I think it might be in there. Maybe. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, I don't actually know, so. Anyway, let's go find out and uh, I'll see you in a bit. So, situation is this. Uh, they are currently offloading me right now. And I am on break. The only reason I'm on break is because I've asked and they said yes, you can stay here for as long as you like. <laughs> so uh, with the knowledge of knowing that I don't have to move, I'm free to do uh, as I so see fit. So I'm on break. So we get half an hour break in whilst we're being offloaded. And then we crack on to Dundee. Uh, we've got an address now to where we're going. Uh, if we leave now, we'll be there 20 to three, but obviously we've got to have a break yet. So could be about three o'clock when we get there, maybe half, half, half three of the latest, it's probably going to be three o'clock, so. So yeah, we just uh, sat down on the bed and waiting to be tipped, wait for our break to finish, browsing TikTok, that sort of stuff, you know how it is, and then we'll crack on to Dundee, get loaded, and then make our way down as far as we can. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. ITO, we are in Dundee and the weather is looking absolutely horrendous. Not looking forward to getting out in the rain. Um, I had a quick look on uh, Google Maps while I was stationary earlier having a break. It looks like we sort of go past where we're going. It's on the right hand side. Then we turn right and then it looks like quite a narrow entrance to reverse into potentially. And they load both on one side. It's what it looks like. Might be wrong, but we will see. We will see. We're looking for a company called Flintstone Technology, which is quite weird because obviously first thing I think of when, when I hear Flintstones is the old uh, cartoon on rocks and stuff. Wooden cars and rocks and using your feet to move. Flintstones technology. Um, as for drive time, we are on 5 hours and 51 minutes total for today. By the time we get there, do a bit of reversing and park up. Like I said earlier, we're going to be on about 6. So we're uh, on target to have 4 hours to drive back if we... Well, we'll only be able to drive three hours before needing the break. So, yeah, we'll see. We might, we might decide. If we're here loading for an hour and then it's five o'clock, pretty much, it might be worth having a break there and then carrying on after rush hour, potentially. I don't know. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get there, see how long they take to load us first. Might be on in like 10, 20 minutes and might be off. For all I know, that'd be good. Get on out of Dundee then. Then we can park up, if need be, have a break and then carry on. Green lights. Okay, we want to go left up here. There we go. Straight over this roundabout. 
clear. Ah, uh, gonna be getting wet. Gonna be getting wet. Oh, look, type R. Yeah. Going down there, thank you very much. Right, so it's this building here on the right, it says Flintstone. This building here, I think if I go around the other side, we can get in potentially. There's a forklift outside. I think I'm just going to reverse into the drive and hoop for the best. I think it's got to be here. To me. Hello mate! Do you want me to reverse in or drive in? Reverse, reverse in, will do. Lovely, 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 lovely. He saw me coming by the looks of it. Fantastic. Where's that red car? There's a red car right behind me. This red car. Yeah. Yeah. We're sort of out there. All right, mate. We'll do. Just got to watch this red car right in front of me. We can start turning now. That um, it messed up my turning a little bit, but we can get in still. Not a problem. Gonna tuck down here. Mind that curb. Well, uh, we'll just sit tight here for a sec. Find out where he wants us. Do you have timber for here? I've got no timber. No. You've got no timber, no mate. No. <sighs> Nothing's been said about timber. Oh, I think that's what we're carrying, something like that. That ain't gonna be the easiest to get in at all. <laughs> Fair play. We've got to try and do that now. Oh, that's an MAN. <laughs> Rubbish horn. Looks nice though, the truck. Huh. They're looking at me as if to say, come on then, but they haven't actually said. This ain't going to be easy. At all. I am not looking forward to this reversing manoeuvre. How can they expect you to do this? Obviously it can be done. Not the right... Someone's calling me. Not the right time to call me. Is 
beam inside there and there's also a, a handrail. Right. Uh, I don't know if it's easier to go up your right side as opposed to going up your blind side. Oh, okay, we can try that if you want. Probably easier than trying to do that way. Yeah, is that how they no is that how they normally do it, is it? Yeah, I was gonna say it's difficult on the blind side. I'll try that then. Yeah. I'll um I'll spin round and try again. Right, so that driver who just come in didn't actually <laughs> reverse blind side in. He did it on his good side. So I said that's a proper, proper difficult reverse manoeuvre. I like to think I'm pretty good. But that's uh, a bit extreme. Give it a go. Oh my god, look how big that chain is. It's a mahoosive chain. Curb. It's on the curb. It should be good. Might have just got that in in one go, you know. We're on four lock. Straight back. I can't see anyone. I come to a complete stop because I couldn't see anyone. That'd be a funny, but if your hand stops moving, I'm stopping. At least we're in the dry. Right, we're in. Did that in one go, I think. Excellent. Right. Let's get this loaded. See you in a bit. Good. Right, we're loaded. Just got to build the air up a bit. I might show you in a bit more detail in a second outside. Ugh. Right, so we're just building up some air, but in the meantime, we can just quickly put the postcode in just to see how many hours of driving it's going to take to get there. We'll just put that in for a second. I'll find the more exact area. Once we stop tonight, we're just going to make our way down towards it. I'll find somewhere to park. It is, according to my sat-nav, 
Nine hours and 42 minutes of driving. <laughs> Nine hours, 42 minutes. Right, let's just get out of here. Someone watching me out? This is a bit of a trailer swing. Good. What's this car doing then? Is anyone in there? I can't actually get out right now because there's cars here. Is there actually anyone in there? Go on the phone. <laughs> it's a woman in there on the phone. You obviously didn't hear the horn blast. Now mind. Thank you. Right. My seatbelt is not on, I know, because I'm coming to a stop in a sec. We're just going to stop here for a moment. Vehicles should be able to get past me. Right, let's close that. Um, right, load. Let's check the load out. I don't know what I'm not actually going to say. Um, but that's the load. Two of them. They weigh 10 tonne each. We've got four straps on either side. Sorry, no, we've got eight straps. So yeah, four straps either side, eight straps in total per pallet. So 16 all in all, all good. Right, so a couple of things. Uh, we just got a route planned. We are gonna go down the A1. So we're basically gonna go sort of towards Perth, uh, around Edinburgh, go east, Haddington, and then take the A1 all the way down. And we're gonna get stopped, hopefully, somewhere near Ant, Anwick, I think it's called, Anwick, on the A1. So that's the way we're gonna go. Now, we have three hours 58, no, sorry, three hours 57 minutes of driving, but it's three hours 41 minutes away. So it is a bit of an ask. Um, and we also need to get a break in as well on the way down. So we're gonna get going, I think. We could stop and have a break. We're about 40 minutes shy of drive time. So I've got to stop for 30 minutes to, to drive for 40 minutes. I mean, it's a bit annoying. Um, wasting time, wasting time. It's four o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to get going. Let's turn that light off. Hazard off. Yeah, I'm going to get going because it's four o'clock. So hopefully traffic's not going to be too bad and we can hopefully beat some rush hour traffic. That is the aim. Yeah, let's get going. Let's drive for an hour or so. If traffic really builds up, which I suspect it will around Edinburgh, then uh, we can get out of Edinburgh and, and park up or something. I don't know. We're sort of something out. What I do know is it is dark and it will be pitch black time we park up and that load does look pretty cool on me, I must admit. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get going. Uh, I'll see you when we park up in a bit. Right. We've just stopped. I have no idea where I am, I'll be honest. Just stopped. Uh, gonna have a half an hour break here. 
just checking the load quickly and then we're gonna grab some food uh, from a shop there, BP Garage, because I don't think I can order anything from, uh, from where I'm parking up tonight. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick break here. We've got two hours left of driving time on the 10 hour drive. And we're about an hour, 45 minutes away from where we plan on parking. So we're on schedule at the moment. Um, but yeah, so let's just get some food ready. Right, we are just about to park up for the night. I'm starting to paint now, we've got a truck behind us. It looks like a relatively short runoff area. Ah, what a day. What a day, what a day. Oh. I'm not sure, I'm not sure we could park where I plan on parking. There's a Premier Inn right there all lit up. I'm not sure we can actually do that. Yeah, as I thought, it's quite a sh short runoff area. Right, let's go see if we can park there. I'm hoping we can. We might not actually be able to. <laughs> this was my second choice. So if for whatever reason I can't park here, I can always just go to my first choice. And the only reason I picked this one in the end was because it had um, a big circle. So you can drive around and not have to worry about reversing or anything. Not that I can't reverse, it's just, it's just easier. It's just easier. Morrison. Trucks parked up in there. Something to think about. Okay, we're going to take a right. I'm not sure if it's a one way system or not. No, it doesn't look like a one-way system. And there is a truck in here parked up, so. There's a truck parked there, so we might be able to park up. Got to go on the curb a little bit just to get around. There's another truck there. I am starting to wonder if, it is, if I've gone around the wrong way. I'm not sure. But anyway, here we do. We'll park up behind this truck. Can't see there being an issue. We're leaving quite early in the morning as well. So, um, yeah, I think this would do. Yeah. I think this will do. This should do fine. Is it still raining? I think it's dribbling. It's dribbling. Let's let the lorry cool down a bit. Let's go check the load out, make sure that's all okay. Yeah, so I've just turned my work lights on the back of the truck so we can actually see. Uh, all the straps are on. These dangled down. I could see that they fell off ages ago. All the straps are still tight. Let's do end of day check. All good. All good. Yeah. It's all good. That's still on. So yeah, I'm not going to stay out here too. I'm going to jump in the truck. Uh, it is 20 past, tw uh, 20 past eight nearly. So do some paperwork quickly. And then uh, we'll be back on the road for probably about half past five tomorrow morning. So I will see you in the morning. See you in a bit. morning it's um it's 10 past five in the morning we're just gonna go up and do some checks get dressed do some checks and then um yeah we'll hit the road in about 20 minutes or so half past five uh at least it's friday 
So yeah, it's all okay still, which is good. It's all on, everything's fine with the truck. There's a Premier in behind me, like, I don't know if you see it. I mentioned, last, I mentioned yesterday, I've always liked the idea of parking up next to a Premier Inn and just going to pay for a room <laughs> and uh, make a video on it. So yeah, we're good to go, strapped up. We're, uh, we're gonna crack on. It's just over six hours to get to where we need to be, so we will need to have a break on the way down. Um, obviously, we could drive for four and a half hours without having a break, so we need to go, uh, we need to drive really for at least, I don't know, three hours, let's say. And uh, and then we can stop for a break if we have to, and then we can then drive another three hours. So, half past five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll probably be driving to half past eight. And then, rush hour traffic, we'll probably stop and have a break, to be honest, so we'll probably do that. Right, let's crack on. I will see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right. Quarter to nine in the morning now. You join me about three and a half hours later. Uh, we've just stopped to get some fuel. This is that time of day it? again. Quarter, got a quarter of a tank, so better fill up now while I can, and then we can park up later. Uh, we're on about, like I say, we're on about three and a half hours of drive time at the moment. So we've got another hour to play with. We're going to find somewhere to park up within the next hour. That will then put us on four and a half hours driving. Uh, which will mean we're only about an hour and a half away from where we need to be. So yeah driven three and a half hours already we're stopping the next hour have a 45 minute break and then um, drive another hour and a half onto our destination load is uh, obviously still on doing the job dummy, dummy. right one more minute and then we can uh, crack on we never had mcdonald's or anything Ugh, just been Watching TikTok. <laughs> what else can you do? Um, we need to tidy up in here, I think. So yeah, we are one and a half hours away from delivery. Um, so yeah, we should be there for about half past 12, fingers crossed. Uh, there's a guy called Sam K. Don't know if any of you have heard of him. He's uh, He does YouTube as well. Have a little look for him. Uh, but he's been to this place I'm delivering to, and in his words, it's a shithole. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, 10 hours of driving, 10 hours from Dundee to Raynham in Essex, and we are three minutes away, just three minutes, 10 hours of driving. Luckily, we did four hours yesterday and uh, six hours today. Let's have a quick look at me drive time. Uh, yeah, so for the day, we're actually on six hours and six minutes right now. Um, yeah, by the time we get in there, do a lot of manoeuvring around and stuff and get back out, probably be about six and a half hours. So, um, yeah, only leaves us with three and a half to get back home. <laughs> should be all right, it should, should be all right. Of course, that bridge when we get there. But let's get this off first, 10 hours. I worked out yesterday, uh, last night, that in this vlog, this one video, by the time I finish today, we would have done about 900 miles. Um, it was 440 miles yesterday from Wigan up to Stirling, then up to Dundee, and then down to, I think, where was it? Alnwick or Alnstock or something I stopped at? I can't remember where I stopped. But that was 440 miles yesterday. And then today, from where I started, all the way down to Raynham, Essex, assuming I go straight back to the yard, around the M25, um, then it's 460 miles. So yeah, we're talking 900 miles in total in the last two days, which uh, I think is like 1,400 kilometers, I think, maybe, something like that. A lot of miles, a lot of miles, and both days are 10-hour uh, drives as well. Yesterday, we finished on like 9 hours 50, I think, and today we're going to be getting close to that number as well. So it's going to be over two days, 900 miles and 20 hours of driving over two days. So it's been a, it's been a bit of a slog. Actually, I'll be honest, it's not, it's not been a bit of a slog. It's been a, it's been a long couple of days, but yeah, I could drive for longer, like last night. I would, I would be tempted to go further, do you know what I mean? But I had to stop. Legally had to stop, so I would have been happy to, to continue a bit more, but never mind. Right, let's test this place out then. Apparently it's quite small, quite tight. Looking on uh, street uh, satellite view, yeah, there's not an awful lot of room. It's absolutely rammed with containers by the looks of it. Um, and all I've got on the paperwork is, I think it was GPS 
something services. CO. CO. Sam's Yard. So Sam's Yard is where we're going. That little bump there was enough <laughs> to make my foot come off the uh, the brake, which then meant I had to brake up a bit harder than I expected because my foot came off a little bit. But yeah, CO Sam's Yard. So I can see it already. You can see it already. That building now on the left. So let's see what it's like. Window down so I can concentrate. Warning, number plate, recognition cameras. Yeah. Oh, look, there's one there, look, being tipped right in front. Lovely, 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 lovely. Morning, mate. Hello, fella, you all right? Yeah, not bad, you? Come to more problems, yeah. <laughs> if you go up, yeah. sit behind the um, HPH. No, the two uh, trailers which are around. You see the, the the ones without containers on the back. Yeah, yeah. The they be going out first, I suppose. If you just sit behind them, when they move and get out of the way, then you can move, turn around. I need you to park where he is. Yeah. But you've got about 15 minutes before that gate, that other one off. Yeah, yeah. And then just come down, pull in front, and we'll offload you and out you go, yeah? So park on the right behind them, spin around when I can and park up there. Yeah, as soon as you can get the chance to turn around, then bring it back. Lovely. All right, mate. All right. Is it all right to unstrap, do you think, while I'm parked up, or wait until I'm here? Or? Wait till you're there. Yeah. It's a bit rocky in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, mate. I no, I bet. Cheers, mate. Yeah, it's a fair shout. Um, better not unload it yet. Oh, sorry, unstrap it. Got exactly the same ones on. I'm just indicating right now so that van knows that I'm parking up this side. He needs, he needs to come down my left side. Oh, yeah, it is a bit rocky, isn't it? Ah, so yeah, we do um, need to spin around somewhere in here. Nice. It's a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm polite. I'm polite. Um, once we can get around, we can get around, but it might be a while before we go, so... Lots of shouting going on. Talking to me? No, talking to someone else. <laughs> I would not want to bring, would not want to bring my Type R into this place. Jesus, absolutely Jesus. Anyway, yeah, as soon as we can turn around, we will, and then um, we get it offloaded. Right, oh, it's been a bit manic. This yard is uh, a bit, uh, a bit tight, but we're in. I don't know how I'm getting back out yet, mine, because we've got to go back down there again. They wanted me to spin round and face the way out but I was waiting there for about half an hour and I couldn't turn round so I ended up reversing back in here. I'm sure we'll ever get out somehow. We'll find a way that's for sure. A three and a half hour give or take drive back. Uh, we might need to stop at B&Q and get some pallets on the way past so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I said, I've said cross that bridge when we get there quite a lot in this video I think. There we go last one coming off. Got to try and get out of here now. Right, we're ready to go. I got to reverse out. Get it done quickly before we get trapped in. Oh, this place is bumpy, isn't it? Where's that car?
People just walking out while the truck's turning. Lovely. Nah. That bloke's just telling me to, to go round and spin round. I just said, no, <laughs> I do have someone watching me back. Like I said, I like to think I'm pretty good at the old reversing manoeuvring, so. I think we'll just reverse out. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Right, seatbelt on. Right, we're out of here. <laughs> that place is, uh, yeah, it's just one of those places which are far too busy. We've got a truck on the left here pulling over. Yeah, just one of those places which is far too busy. Uh, it looked like it was a white goods recycling area as well. Um, yeah, people were putting white goods in. So yeah. Very busy, lots of vans, public around as well. <sighs> but we're out, we're out. Anyway, ETA to the yard, assuming we don't stop for pallets, is 20 past four. I suspect we will stop for pallets. So, um, yeah, by the time they're on, we get back to the yard, it'll be about half five, six probably, so. We'll see. I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. Oh, what a day though. Miles and miles and uh, for that. <laughs> what a mess. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we're back in the yard. We didn't have to go do anything else in the end. Uh, so we're just chilling in the yard now. Just doing some end of day checks. Got to drop the trailer and um, pack all my stuff away basically uh, for the weekend. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Like I said uh, earlier, it was 900 miles we've done in this one video alone. Uh, 20 hours almost of driving. It's more like 19 and a half, um, but it's close enough. <laughs> um, so 19 and a half hours of driving, uh, two days, 900 miles. It's been an epic journey. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I do thank you very much for watching. Um, appreciate it so much. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.